Hey, so if you checked out the last video, you would have seen that I was able to max build my PvP Null up to rank 10, or roughly around there, it was rank 8. Uh, you can see here currently that I'm not rank 8 anymore because I'm still searching for his potential. And if I can unlock his potential, that means I can rank up his gears and obviously get a higher rank as well. Now, I'm not going to go over the build again. Uh, if you want to see that, make sure to check out the previous video. Uh, but you can briefly see here that I have about uh, 40,000 physical damage. And also, I haven't crafted my cards at all. So this is just uh, base cards with no, none of the new uh, card abilities like Pierce, Concentration, and all of that. The reason I mention this is because a lot of people don't have their cards crafted yet, or don't have those new abilities like Pierce, which make a pretty big difference. With that said, my cards are actually pretty well rolled. Uh, but most people can attain those level of stats with the new crafting system anyway. So this showcase should be pretty straightforward and achievable for most people. So before I show off what Null is capable of in PvE, and it's uh, pretty incredible to say the least, it's important to take note of his tier 2 passive. So if you see here, his tier 2 passive gives you 5% pierce. And with my cards having none, that's 5% pierce in total. But you may be thinking, that instantly makes him a PvE character, so why am I wasting my time building him for PvP? Well, his other passive essentially gives him a revive, or the ability to not die when he's at zero health. This is very important for PvP, and besides that, he has a great leadership and an iframe ignore skill, so this makes him a pretty good candidate for being a meta character for PvP. Oh, and I almost forgot, he has a self debuff built into his kit, so what more could you ask for? Now the first uh, showcase that I'm doing here is versus Proxima at stage 99. And keep in mind, this is Null at level 60 with no proc since I'm using the regen, so this is no damage proc at all. Now the strikers and the support are definitely going to help with this damage, but that's just to speed up the video because otherwise you would be here for a pretty long time. For the most part, this is just to test out and see what his raw damage is and what that 5% pierce can really do in PvE content. If you're wondering what kind of rotation I'm using here, uh, I was kind of just messing around, so my first try here, uh, there's no hint of a uh, solid rotation, but the one that I found out works best is you do four, and then you cancel after the dragons uh, come up, and then you do your fifth, and you cancel after he does his uh, sword swipe, so you'll see a red slash. Uh, and then you'll use your other abilities uh, quickly to fill in. Uh, you can do your third skill, you usually don't want to cancel that. And on your downtime, you basically want to go into your second ability and just stay into that since it's a channeled ability. Now when your sixth or ultimate ability comes up, you basically want to do the same kind of rotation. But you do your fourth and then you cancel that into your sixth. And again, you would uh, cancel that essentially when he's done his swipe, similar to the fifth ability. From there, you would just continue the same rotation that I mentioned before. You can see here that the Pierce is doing a lot of the heavy lifting, uh, and you can kind of guess that I'm basically going to be able to complete the Proxima stage 99 clear. If you're unfamiliar with what Pierce damage does, it basically is like all defense down, but it can't be ignored by any boss in the game or uh, even in PvP content, I believe. As for the exact numbers on uh, how much defense down it provides, uh, I can't say for sure because the mechanics aren't really uh, fully explained anywhere, but I believe it's 100% for an unspecified amount of time. I'm going to be speeding up through a bunch of these showcase videos because uh, the video in total would get way too long if I showed the full battle. And there you go, just like that, Proxima stage 99 is defeated with no damage proc at all at level 60 null that's crazy the next world boss that i'm trying out is cold obsidian i have slightly different strikers this time around but uh the same support as before so one of the things with cold obsidian unfortunately is that he has a high resistance to physical damage and besides that he has a lot of hp so a little bit of a spoiler alert i wasn't actually able to clear cold obsidian uh, but at this point, I was still kind of messing around with the skill rotations, and if I had kind of a cleaner run without canceling a bunch of my skills uh, prematurely, then I'm more than confident that I would have been able to clear this world boss without any damage proc. So this one's kind of close, but it's doable. 
For the Corvus Glaive run, I added two Ignore Dodge Strikers, so that's, you can see there, that's uh, Nadia Van Dyne, which is pretty much useless <laughs> outside of this uh, Striker, uh, and Black Widow as well. She's not useless though. Hopefully Nadia gets a uh, uniform in the future like Wasp, where she gives debuff to her teammates passively. Uh, that would be pretty great and would make her pretty much not useless. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, those two strikers give about 20% uh, ignore dodge in total. And then Valkyrie, her passive with the uniform or without, I'm not sure, it gives about 30% ignore dodge. And Null himself has 10% ignore dodge uh, in his kit. So in total that comes out to around 60%. Now you don't necessarily need 100%, it definitely does help, but I kind of wanted to see how he would do uh, without having that max value. And there you go, that's 3 for 3. Let's just say it's 3 for 3, because uh, Call Obsidian should have counted as well. So yeah, 3 for 3 bosses so far in World Boss. At this point, you might be wondering, but how is he going to do Ebony Ma? He doesn't have elemental damage. Well... He can't. Now there could be some kind of a crazy way that I don't know about, maybe to reduce uh, elemental resistance or something, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just skip this one. But I mean that's not too bad, 3 out of 4 so far. Now comes the real test. Can Null do Super Giant? We're s no, he can't. We're skipping over that one because she's way too OP. So we're just going to go to Thanos. And we're going to do Thanos stage 50 with no damage proc at level 60. This should be pretty crazy. So unlike the other fights, I'm not going to be uh, cutting to the end for this. Because it's kind of going to be a little bit of a surprise if I can do this or not. Uh, if you don't want to watch the entirety of this fight, then you can easily just skip to the end uh, and see for yourself. But... Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I do want to note one thing though. So uh, Thanos is kind of known for being a very tough boss to beat if you don't uh, use the one-shot mechanic uh, teams. Because when you go under 10 bars, he cleanses himself of all debuffs. Fortunately, the new ability, the pierce damage, can't be ignored by anything at all, so it still continues. So this, this is going to be a real test of Null's pure damage to be able to take down Thanos, if he can do it. Oh, and one other thing is it's pretty nice that Null has an iframe ignore skill, because uh, Thanos iframes a lot uh, later in the fight, and you can still hit him while he does his iframe skill. Also, since you don't die when you hit zero health, you can still continue pumping out damage uh, at least, uh, I believe, twice in the fight due to the cooldown on that ability. You might have also noticed that I put Weapon Hex into the Strikers. I don't really think her all defense down uh, does anything on top of the Pierce damage. Uh, but it won't matter anyway once you go under, I believe, 10 bars. So, yeah. I'm going to stop talking now so you can enjoy the entirety of this epic fight. Enjoy.
Ladies and gentlemen, the hype is real. It's madness. No, it's no. He can do stage 50 without a damage proc and he's still level 60. I can't test Null versus himself just yet in the world boss legend because he has to be level 70 in order to do that. What I can test though is the next best thing in PvE which is Shadowland. So I thought I'd take him into a floor 100 in Shadowland with the requirement of being a villain and see how he does. <laughs> As you could have guessed, he doesn't have any problem doing floor 100 at all. I'm sure he can do way higher solo and like I keep saying, he's still level 60 so he can go way higher once he's at 70 because all those dodge penalties and damage reduction penalties won't apply. I took Null into squad battle as well to test out his uh, score potential in the No Limits team. Sadly characters in this mode have uh, pretty hefty penalties at level 60 so he doesn't end up doing too much, but that shouldn't really be the case when he gets to level 70. Besides that, he can still hit over 800,000 points, which is what you need for the last reward anyway. The last mode that I'm going to be showing off here on this video is ABX. Due to Null's ridiculous raw damage uh, and the fact that he has paralysis and silence on his abilities, means that he for sure will be an ABX meta at least for the Universal Villain Day. You might be also wondering why am I showcasing PvE content when I have a PvP build? Well, the thing is, uh, it's very difficult to test Null versus the top metas right now when he's at level 60 because he has all those penalties. Regardless, I'm still gonna be showcasing PvP uh, content and me testing it, so in Timeline and Alliance Conquest. Unfortunately, the video would have gone too long if I tried to pack that all in here. So uh, in the next one, I'll be showing that off uh, as well as giant boss raid. So make sure to check that out. Oh, and I did manage to hit about 4 million uh, in this run. Again, I was still kind of testing out the rotation a bit at this point. But uh, when he gets to level 70, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to get to 5 million score, which will net you that extra 500k gold. And keep in mind, this is all still with no damage proc. Anyways, yeah, thanks for your time, and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or want to say anything. Uh, and if you liked the video, you know, maybe like or subscribe to help my channel grow. Uh, and yeah, the video is now over.